What's up guys, Joe at Momentum Works. I got some downtime at the shop, it's after hours, and I wanted to show you guys something about super sessions and turbos between manufacturers. So I had a chance to pull them out of the box. We're gonna go over these real quick, quick video, stay tuned. All right gang, so I don't have my gimbal or anything, it's gonna be a little shaky, but you can see we got three turbos here. They all look very similar, a couple different manufacturers. Uh, you got two Garrett's here, and then you have a Bohr Werner. But when you take a look at them, they're all very, very similar, but they're all a little different. Fitment's going to be the same, but I want to explain here, guys, how these super sessions work and what exactly you're getting. So these two units here are both Garrett's, uh, virtually identical. They do have different size ARs. You can see this one is a 1.28 versus a 1.15. Uh, smaller housing spools up quicker and the larger housing will support higher horsepower. Um, and then this Borg Werner here, I don't know if it's got a marking in it somewhere or not, um, but Borg Werner is going to do this one probably in a CM squared. You will see though that the orientation is the same. The mounting point where it hits the manifold is all T6 divided and the exhaust housing is all that same full Marmon flange. The compressor outlet, it's a 4.2 V-band on the Borg Werner and on both Garrett units, along with the air cleaner from, you know, air cleaners, air filters, whatever I'm calling them, coming in is five inches across the board. All right, guys, so this is where we're really going to see the differences. We have Borg Werner 1, Garrett 1, Garrett 2. Uh, right off the bat, you can see the Borg Warner is using a billet wheel versus a compressor wheel that's cast on both of the other units. Right off the bat, you'll also notice this is a seven blade compressor wheel, a seven plus seven. It has seven full blades and seven half blades. But both of the Garrett units are six, six full blades and six half blades, six full blades, six half blades called the six by six. Now, there's also going to be a difference in size on these wheels. So let's grab our calipers here. We'll zero them out here for you real scientific folk. You know, I don't have a degree in engineering, Jim from Morgantown. All right, let's open these up here. So we'll see. Guys, we're just going to do our best here. It's not going to be super accurate. Now we got it in inches. Millimeters. So it's just shy of 70 millimeters on here. Let's go to our other Garrett Turbo. Just over 70 millimeters. And plot twist. This one's 75 millimeters. So the difference between these two turbos on the inducer of the compressor wheel is pretty close. But the difference here is actually pretty big. I mean, we're talking about a 70 millimeter versus a 75. Now, the differences don't change just with the inducer. It's also in the overall wheel diameter. So we can see that this Borg, and like I said, guys, these are just rough measurements, uh, 103 millimeters. This Garrett, 94 millimeters. And then, uh, hold on, we can get up a little higher on this. 102 millimeters. So there is some variance in the wheel size here. When you're going for all out performance, this might make a slight difference. So let's get a look here. Oil feed is gonna be the same across all three units. So you know that it's gonna bolt up just the same. Actuator placement is the same. The way the bracket sits is slightly different. Um, you know, the exhaust mounting is going to be the same. So there are quite a bit of similarities in these turbos. Now, from a design standpoint, you can see that both of the Garrett's, it's a V-band on the compressor side and it's V-band on the turbine side. But on the Borg Werner, you have V-band on the compressor side and it's a bolt design for holding the turbine side on uh, with this C-clamp around it. All right, guys, so if you're still with me, you might be wondering, why does this matter? Joe, why are you telling me about super sessions? Well, it's multifold. One, a lot of customers ask, why do manufacturers do super sessions and consolidations? Well, first and foremost, it's much cheaper for a shop to stock one turbo opposed to 18 different turbos. So we're a turbo shop. We don't mind having a bunch of variations because we want to make sure that we have the exact turbo that you want for your spec. 
But for the guy that just needs to, you know, get going, he's got a truck broke down, a turbo that fits is going to fit his needs. So that Borg Werner, it's a 71 millimeter versus one of the Garrett's was a 71 and one of the Garrett's was a 75. But that turbo is going to bolt up and let him run that truck down the road with no issues whatsoever. So there is reason for consolidation in the marketplace. It makes it easier for a lot of certain people. But on the same token, if you're looking for a very specific turbo, it's important to say, hey, I have a Detroit Series 60. This is the specific turbo I'm looking for. Otherwise, you might end up with a 71 millimeter turbo versus a 75 because all three of those turbos that we looked at today are all Detroit D-Deck 4 uh, turbos. So, I mean, if you say, hey, I got a D-Deck 4 Detroit, you know, 12.7 liter, yada, 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 you could get any of those turbos and not really know what you're getting. So market consolidation, it's a good thing so that there can be readily available parts for guys all over the country, all over the world. But on top of that, I mean, there are some times that you're going to want a very specific, hey, I want this part number by this manufacturer so you know exactly what you're getting. So I hope I didn't just turk and talk in circles here for you guys. Um, you know, I think it's really important to know what you're buying and, you know, what's right for one guy is not right for the next, so on and so forth. And that's why we're here. If you're looking for a really specific turbo or you're looking to achieve a certain goal with a turbo, you're going to want to know what exactly is in the box. And this isn't to say that consolidation is bad. I mean, Borg Warner consolidating Garrett part numbers, that's good. I mean, th there's no right or wrong answer here. What's right for one guy is not always right for the next. But that's why we're here. Hey, guys, I'm going to end the rambling here. Hoping to drop some more videos. If there's questions that you have regarding turbos, the turbo market, you know, specific turbos that I should do videos on, drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to do these videos. I'm really big on sharing information because these are big purchases. You guys make a living running these trucks. So it's very important that you know what's going in and on the truck. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya. Boner footage. Can I say boner? Bonus. Guys, look Look how skinny that is versus how thick that is. That's one telltale sign to see that this, look at that there, is a much larger compressor wheel than that because look how much more materials there. This, that. Okay, good night.